All right, hello everyone and welcome to uh, our tutorial on how to download satellite imagery using the semi-automatic classification plugin in QGIS. So first things first, uh, as mentioned in class, I'm hoping that all of you have already installed the semi-automatic classification plugin in QGIS and uh, you're also supposed to have access to internet. All right, so to download the products, any product, you click on download product, and this window should come, uh, should come here. And first things, first again, uh, you need to uh, have login credentials. Uh, you can have uh, either the credentials for NASA or uh, credentials for Copernicus. And in our case, we already uh, uh, have credentials uh, from the USGS uh, portal, USGS Explorer portal, uh, where we registered for us to uh, download the Landsat uh, imagery. So you can use the same credentials even under the SCP uh, here to have access to uh, the, uh, the data. So once you uh, input the credentials, then you can go back to uh, to search uh, to input the search parameters. All right. So then, here on the products, you have a number of products. Uh, but in our case, we are interested in Sentinel two, so you click on Sentinel two. And then you define the date uh, for which uh, you want to download the data. In our case, like I mentioned in class, we are interested in the pre-flood. Uh, period and we are focusing on September which is uh, during the driest period of the year. Uh, so we'll focus on between September 10 up to September 20th, uh, 2024. And so this is September uh, 10th and then this is going to be September 20, uh, 20th. Okay, then uh, we want imagery with zero cloud cover, and this is possible because it's in the dry season, and normally this is a period when you can have access to uh, cloud-free imagery. Then uh, you also want to ensure that uh, you have the open street map uh, so that you are able to, to know exactly the, uh, to zoom into area of interest. So to add uh, open street map, you simply come here and click on add open street map to the map. Once you do that, you go and check in the main window, and then we zoom in to our area of interest, in this case Zambia, and the Barossa floodplain in Western Province here. So this is, this is our area of interest. So then we go back to the SCP, and then we need to define uh, the area of interest. So to do that, come here, it's a set area in the map, you click here, and then you go back to the map. Uh, you uh, first of all establish the upper left point by left clicking here, and then you establish uh, you establish the uh, lower right point by clicking here, right clicking here, and you have your area of interest defined. So if you go back to the SCP, you realize that the upper left coordinates have been defined and the lower right coordinates have also been defined. And so now we can find the scenes that are available within that area of interest that we've defined. To do that, we click on find, find images. Okay, this may take a while depending on how good your internet connection is. You can also track the progress in the map window here. It's at 14% now. So depending on how good your internet is, this should, shouldn't take long. Okay, we are almost done. Okay, we're done. So when we go back to the SCP, you realize that the uh, scenes that are available within that, uh, the, uh, the area of interest that we defined is here. So depending on um, uh, your area of interest, you should be able to know the zone and the path uh, 
that you are interested in, okay? And then you are also interested in the surface reflectance product. In this case, the product ID for surface reflectance in, uh, in, uh, for Sentinel should have this uh, S2A, okay? And then in our case, maybe if we, we want to check, our interest is uh, for path 34 LGH. Let's see if this is big enough to cover uh, our area of interest or part of our area of interest. Okay, so you see that uh, we have uh, part of the flood plain uh, displayed here, and this is part of our area of interest. So then to uh, download this this sim we have to consider these other factors here do we want to download all the bands uh, or do we just want to download the bands that we're interested in say band four and band eight okay so depending on the number of bands that you uh, you, you you are supposed to use in your exercise or whatever you are doing you can uncheck the other bands and just remain with the bands that you're interested in and you can also uh, uh, if you want to just download uh, the scene that you're interested in, in this case, scene number seven here. Uh, you click here where it says only if preview in layers. And also if you want the image, uh, images to be uh, pre-processed, in our case, we want it to be processed, pre-processed from the digital numbers uh, format to the reflectance values because that's what we're interested in. So it, it has to be uh, uh, pre-processed to between zero and one values for all the bands that we are interested in. Okay, so you click there. Then also if you want the bands to be loaded once they have been downloaded, you also check here, you click here. So then to only download the uh, images in the preview, uh, in the preview, you click here. Display preview of highlighted images in map. Once you click there, just wait a bit, and it should be displayed in the map window here. You have it displayed here, and you can zoom in and just check it out. Okay, so this is falling within the Barossa flood plain. Okay, and our area of interest is somewhere here. Okay, so now to download this, we go back to the SCP, and we click on Run. We define the folder where we want to uh, save the uh, imagery, the data, and uh, here I'll create a folder and say Sentinel Sentinel two imagery. Okay, so that's the folder that I'm going to save the data to or in. And then to start downloading, you simply click on select folder, and that's it. Okay, so now uh, this will take a while depending on uh, how good the internet connection is. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to simply speed up the, uh, the video, then after that I will uh, demonstrate, uh, uh, I'll basically show you the downloaded, the, the downloaded images and that should be it. can also track the progress of the downloads. Okay, so as of now, we are at about 10%. Okay, so the images have now been uh, uh, downloaded and we can check if we have the correct uh, data. Okay, so the reflectance product is between zero and supposed to be between zero and one. The values are supposed to be between zero and one. And in this case for band 8A, we have between zero and 0 0.5. Uh, then for the bands we're interested in in our exercise, it's band four and band eight. Okay, so we see the reflectance values for band eight between 0 0.05 and 0 0.49 and also 0 0.06 and 0 0.395 for band four. All right, so we have our data. Now we can uh, uh, perform the exercise. All right, thank you.